You're watching News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader. Live from WSIL-TV in high definition, News 3 starts right now. Good evening. We're following breaking news out of Cairo tonight. A violent robbery at the First National Bank on Washington Street. It happened around 515 this evening. Police say a suspect with a knife and a gun injured several people during the holdup and we're told at least one of those victims has died. News 3 Sam Jones joins us from the scene with the latest and I understand Sam a state police news conference is about to get underway. That's right, Eden and Emily. We actually just spoke with state police. Trooper Joey Watson is here, still giving us a little bit more information, but right now we do know they have apprehended the suspects that they've been looking for all night long. That is the male who walked into First National Bank right here in downtown Cairo, armed with a handgun and knife earlier today. He demanded money, and from there, the details are slim. We know ambulances rushed at least one victim from the scene. Family here in Cairo have told no News 3, one of the female tellers at the bank was fatally injured. Continuing coverage now of the deadly bank robbery in Cairo. We're learning more about what happened and about the lives lost. Good evening. It's been a tense 24 hours in Cairo after an armed man tried to rob the First National Bank. Two workers were stabbed to death, a third critically wounded. State police identified those victims this afternoon. Nita Smith of Wycliffe, Kentucky and Anita Grace of Olive Branch. Both were 52. After a manhunt, a chase and a standoff last night, police arrested the suspect. He's identified as 29-year-old James Watts of Cairo. We have team coverage tonight from News 3's Sam Jones and Stephanie Tierpak. We begin with Stephanie, who has a closer look at the timeline of just what happened. A high-speed chase topping 100 miles per hour through the city of Cairo came to a standoff Thursday night on this railroad bridge over the Ohio River. The suspect on the tracks was 29-year-old James Nathaniel Watts. He's a Cairo resident with a history of forgery and child sex abuse who was released from Menard Prison just two weeks ago. So far, his only new charge is for a felon in possession of a firearm. But on Thursday evening around 515, three female employees were stopped as they were leaving First National Bank. An FBI agent's testimony explains Watts forced them back inside in an attempted robbery. He wasn't able to get money, but police say two of the employees were fatally stabbed and a third critically injured. He was seen leaving with a victim's purse and her SUV. At 6.55, police spotted that same vehicle with Watts at the wheel. He tried to speed away before hiding out on the railroad trestle. Around 9 p.m., the standoff finally came to an end, with the FBI taking Watts into custody along with a pistol that he was carrying. In Cairo, Stephanie Tierpak, News 3. Police have not released the name of the bank worker who survived the attack. She's identified only as a 23-year-old woman. She remains in the hospital in critical condition. Meanwhile, friends and family are mourning the two women killed, along with people throughout the Cairo community. News 3's Sam Jones has more on the victims. We're here outside the bank, which, as you can see by this yellow tape, is still a crime scene. It's where two 52-year-old employees were fatally stabbed. The third, at 23 years old, was critically wounded. State police say three female employees were closing up the bank Thursday night when an armed suspect forced them back inside. They were found inside a break room. One of them, Nita Smith, was a new grandmother. We're all just in shock right now. We just can't believe it. We can't believe something like this has happened. But uh, it has. You're in a small town and I mean, right now I'm very, very angry and very, very bitter. Cousin Marisa Callahan says she heard sirens last night, which alerted her to the worst. I saw ambulances and police cars coming uh, back into town. And my friend from uh, here in Carroll called me and said, uh, asked me if I'd heard that there'd been a robbery at the bank. And she said Nita's car is still on the parking lot. The other victim, Anita Grace of Olive Branch, also died of her injuries. Family says the third female has been in surgery and was stabbed multiple times. All of those families were briefed by authorities earlier today, learning what led to the crime, but they declined to go on camera, saying their hearts are broken. 
and they need time to heal. The families say they take some comfort knowing a suspect is behind bars, but that doesn't erase the pain that's engulfed this entire community. The town has been rocked by this senseless violence. Reporting in Cairo, Sam Jones, News 3. Stay with us for continuing coverage of the deadly robbery in Cairo. Look for updates tonight at 10 and throughout the evening online. Yesterday's was the eighth bank robbery in our region so far this year. Back in January, there were three robberies at the Banterra Bank in West Frankfurt, at the First National Bank in Paducah, and at the Old National Bank in Murfreesboro. That third one remains unsolved. In February, two men were arrested after holding up the SIU Credit Union in Carbondale. Then in March, the first commercial bank in Stoddard County, Missouri, was robbed. That case remains unsolved. And there have been three robberies this month at the Bank of Missouri in Cape Girardeau, the old National Bank in Murfreesboro again, and then yesterday's. Those two other holdups this month remain unsolved as well.